Hello, my name is Christopher Adams, and as the rector of St. Paul's College at the University of Manitoba, and on behalf of Dr. Delantha Fernando, our Dean of Studies, we want to welcome students and their families, alumni, faculty, and staff, and all of our friends to our specially produced St. Paul's College opening academic exercises and awards ceremony. I wish to begin by first acknowledging that our college and the city of Winnipeg sit at the crossroads of the Anishinaabe, Métis, Cree, Dakota, and Ochi Cree nations. As such, we acknowledge specifically that we are in Treaty 1 territory and on the traditional lands of the Anishinaabe peoples and the homeland of the Métis Nation. Today, St. Paul's College at the University of Manitoba officially welcomes its first year students along with all those who are returning to continue their studies. These are all University of Manitoba students who choose to be members of the college and are enrolled in almost every field of study, including such professional schools as business, architecture, dentistry, education, nursing, law, and medicine. We are honored that you chose to pursue your University of Manitoba studies here in the college. We like to call this college our smaller community in a large community. Please know that we rely on the generosity of our donors such as Conrad Rusikowski and his family who donated over $1 million to our College Foundation to support scholarships and programs in Catholic Studies. Arthur V. Morrow and others have also made significant contributions to support the Morrow Center, now the Morrow Institute, for Peace and Justice, including a $2 million pledge from his family to increase the capacity of our Morrow Institute for Peace and Justice. Many of our students are receiving scholarships this month and are benefiting from this type of generosity. Later this fall term and during the upcoming winter, we will be giving bursaries to those who are in financial need. Our donors and supporters provide both large and small gifts. We hope that you might contemplate what you and your family can do for the college, including our students and the next generation to come. Among those of you who have made gifts to our foundation, of which there are many, I want to thank you. I want to thank the Archdiocese of Winnipeg our valued donors for their continuing support of our campus ministry and the maintenance of our Christ the King Chapel. Each year the Archbishop has come forward with very generous funds to help us achieve our objectives. But this month specifically we are celebrating the beginning of a new academic year and we at St. Paul's College wish you, our new and returning students, and many of your instructors who are working remotely here and elsewhere the very best as we all move forward into the 2021 school year. Try to eat nourishing foods, watch out for each other's well-being, and stay tuned for emails and website announcements from our college regarding the school year. Thank you very much. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, let us pray. O God, the source of all wisdom, knowledge, and truth, be with us as we celebrate and affirm the important responsibilities to which you have called St. Paul's College. Bless these academic exercises, that they may reflect our shared concern for academic excellence, for faith formation, for creative imaginations, and for the wholeness of all God's people. May all of us, administrators, faculty, various staff, students, and their families and friends, supporters of the college, Receive through this time together clearer vision, deeper faith, and a lively hope through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I would now like to welcome the new University of Manitoba president, Dr. Michael Benamash, to say a few welcoming remarks. Hello, it's wonderful to be with you, the students, faculty, and staff of St. Paul's College, who are such an important community of our university. Hello also to the family members of our students joining today. Thank you for welcoming me here. It's good to be home. I am new to the role of president, but of course, I'm not new to the U of M. I served as Dean of the Asper School of Business from 2011 to 2017, and came to know and appreciate fully the U of M's multifaceted community. Since I have returned, I've had many interesting conversations with students, faculty, staff, and members of our larger community about our university 
and its future. I look forward to hearing from you as well. Already, I've been so impressed by how our students have overcome significant barriers during the pandemic. To all the students of St. Paul's College, I applaud you as you act on what you're passionate about and as you find your unique way of making a difference in the world, a world that is continually redefining itself. I'm also immensely proud of St. Paul's College faculty who are pivoting how they teach to deliver classes remotely. You have shown remarkable flexibility and supported student success during unprecedented challenges. Thank you. During these times of change and adaptation, what will remain constant is my commitment to the priorities of the university. I have met and continue to meet with people who care deeply about these core priorities. Together, we'll move forward in engaging with Indigenous students, faculty and staff, bringing Indigenous ways of knowing and learning to the academy. We will foster a fulfilling student experience and a respectful work and learning environment. We will pursue research and scholarly work that underpins the economy and inspires cultural transformation. And we will build community among our alumni and donors. I'm excited about the opportunities that face us. I'm also excited for you as you begin a new year of study with St. Paul's College, as you find new ways to connect and stay close while learning from a distance, and as you help shape this reinvigorated sense of community. Thank you, Miigwech. I would now like to welcome the Archbishop of Winnipeg and the Chancellor of St. Paul's College, the Most Reverend Richard Gagnon, to say a few remarks. Hello, this is Archbishop Richard Gagnon, Archbishop of Winnipeg and Chancellor of the College of St. Paul, St. Paul's College on the University campus at the University of Manitoba. I bring you greetings, all the staff and students of St. Paul's as you begin your opening exercises for this academic year. What a great privilege it is to speak to you today and congratulations on the beginning of this new academic year. Certainly as a community of faith on campus, and now that's a great privilege in itself, we are a sign and a witness to Jesus Christ in all that we do. St. Francis of Assisi would speak about living with the flavor of the gospel. Our lives should radiate our Christian faith and do so with courage and with great joy. So I wish you well. My prayers are with you as you begin this academic year with these opening exercises and the God will protect you and be with you during these challenging days of COVID-19. So the Lord be with you all, staff and students, and may God bless you and keep you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I would now like to ask our college chaplain, Father Colin Peterson, to bless the elected members of the St. Paul's College Student Association. Merciful God, send your Holy Spirit upon the St. Paul's College Students Association, that in all things they might be committed to your purposes. Give them hope, courage, joy, loving hearts, and an unwavering faith in you, so that all their work may generate the love and light of Jesus Christ in this place and around the world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father Carl. I would now like to ask our Dean of Studies, Dr. Galantha Fernando, to present the awards. Dear students, Director Dr. Casadas, Assembly, alumni, and friends, it gives me great pleasure in welcoming you all to our 2020 opening academic exercises. I'm Galantha Fernando, Dean of Studies at St. Paul's College. It is my pleasure to be part of this very important celebration with you. I am proud to announce that we are able to give away scholarships and awards in spite of the unusual year we have had since March. Thanks to the many alumni and friends, we have been wonderful donors. We have had wonderful donors to the SPC Foundation. 
As Dean of Studies, I would like to speak directly to the students. Thank you for choosing St. Paul's College as your home away from home while at the University of Manitoba. Some of you are new and being recognized today for your scholarly activities during your high school days. And others are recognized for your high academic achievements during the first two years at the University of Manitoba. University of Manitoba is a great place for learning. As a scientist and professor, I work on canola, the healthiest edible oil in the world, a crop that was developed right here at the University of Manitoba. There are many such achievements each program or department can be proud of. Since St. Paul's College has graduated many brilliant minds in many different fields who are wonderful citizens and have given their time and energy to help others while pursuing their dreams. So, to the new students of St. Paul's College, I tell you that you are at the right place. Encourage your friends also to join St. Paul's College and be part of this great institution, which is over 90 years old. During the four years you will spend at, St. at the University of Manitoba and at St. Paul's College, hopefully will be memorable and will be your best years. I hope you will be able to achieve your dreams and to make new and lasting friendships. I hope St. Paul's will provide you the ambience for a unique experience to make you strong individuals and persons who care for others and their society. This year, we have been unfortunate in not being able to see most of you in person. But I look forward to the day we can. Congratulations. Now I would like to ask our board uh, of governors chair, Mr. Peter Smith, to award the Alumni and Friends uh, Award at St. Paul's College. My name is Peter Smith. I'm an alum of the college as well as the current chair of the Board of Governors. It is my pleasure to present the St. Paul's College Alumni and Friends Association Entrance Scholarship. The scholarship was established in 1997 by the St. Paul's College Alumni and Friends Association and provides an entrance scholarship to a graduate from each of the four Catholic high schools in Winnipeg. The scholarship is awarded to a student based on academic achievement, leadership, and active participation within the community. From St. Mary's Academy, the scholarship is awarded to Grace Francis. Grace is currently in the Health Sciences program and is hoping to pursue a career in medicine. Since recently retiring from gymnastics, she began coaching gymnastics to show her love of the sport with the next generation of athletes. Rohan Sethi of St. Paul's High School is the second recipient of the scholarship. Rohan is a first year student in the Bachelor of Health Sciences program at the Rady Faculty of Health Sciences and is hoping to pursue a career in health healthcare. He's an avid debater and public speaker, a science enthusiast, reader and writer, and a soccer referee. Our third recipient is Zymina Lopez Pereira from St. Maurice School. Zymina is hoping, hoping to study biosystems engineering or environmental studies. Her hobbies include painting, reading, and exploring Manitoba's provincial parks. Our fourth recipient, coming from St. Boniface Diocesan High School, is Jude Filomino. Jude expressed that he is highly grateful for being selected for this award and would like to wish everyone the best throughout the fall and winter terms. Congratulations to all the recipients of this award. Hello, my name is Emika Satmari. The uh, Larry and Lita Lee Entrance Scholarship was established by Alita and Larry Lee to support first-year student members of St. Paul's College enrolled at the University of Manitoba and pursuing a career in business or finance. This year, the scholarship is awarded to Corey Fredrickson. Corey is currently completing a double major in marketing and supply chain management at the Asper School of Business. He is an active member of St. Paul's College Student Association, where he is serving as the marketing director. When he's not studying or volunteering, he can be found golfing. Congratulations, Corey. Hello, I'm Frank Obergewich, Superior of the Winnipeg Jesuits and Pastor of St. Ignatius Parish and I'm speaking from the Jesuit Community Chapel here on Young Street. It's my pleasure to present four students with the Jesuit Entrance Scholarship. 
created to celebrate the contributions of the Jesuits to St. Paul's College. The Jesuit scholarship provides an entrance scholarship to students coming from the four Catholic high schools. From St. Mary's Academy, our first recipient is Nina Putzeluk. Currently enrolled in the Faculty of Arts, she is hoping to pursue a career in law. She has always been a dedicated student and partakes in such activities as musical theater, singing lessons, and debating. Nina is an active member in the Ukrainian community, including the scouting organization PLAST, where she dedicates her Saturdays volunteering with younger groups. The second recipient is Daniel Varelli, a recent graduate from St. Boniface Diocesan High School. Daniel received direct entry into engineering at the University of Manitoba with the intentions of becoming a computer engineer. His hobbies include playing and making music, programming and cooking. Daniel looks forward to continuing growing in his Catholic faith throughout the university as he had throughout high school. Our third recipient is Mitchell Langdon. As graduate of St. Paul's High School, Mitchell has fond memories of participating in the Kairos retreat, which he, has, he was able to lead twice during his time at the school. Mitchell is currently pursuing a Bachelor of Commerce degree through the Asper School of Business. Outside of school, some of his interests include hockey, soccer, and cars. Michael Dion Halliman is the fourth recipient of the scholarship. Mike is a recent graduate of St. Maurice School, where he participated in many extracurriculars, including serving as religious coordinator for the school council. He is currently pursuing his dream of being an engineer. In his spare time, Mike enjoys playing guitar, signing, basketball, and spending time with his baby brother. Congratulations to all the recipients. My name is Jasmine Tavares and I'm a former graduate of St. Mary's Academy. I'm also the upcoming senior stick for St. Paul's College. It is my honor to present the Ellen Dryden Finley Entrance Scholarship. This entrance scholarship is presented to a student coming from St. Mary's Academy on the basis of academic achievement, leadership and participation in the community. This year, the scholarship is awarded to Ashley Smalley. Ashley is currently a first year student in the Faculty of Engineering where she plans on specializing in biomedical engineering. Congratulations to Ashley on this award. My name is Jesus Angel Miguel, and I'm presenting the Dr. Y. C. Ma Scholarship in Economics. Dr. Yuen Chuen Ma was a math and economics professor at St. Paul's College from 1966 to 1989 and senior scholar from 1991 to 2000. This scholarship is presented in memory of Dr. Ma's contributions to the college and is awarded to a student for excellence in economics. This year, the scholarship is presented to Duncan Gaula. Duncan is a fourth year economics major in the society stream with a minor in psychology. After graduating, he plans on pursuing a master's degree in economics or obtaining a degree in law. Hello, everybody. My name is Haskell Greenfield. I'm professor of anthropology and the co-director of the Near Eastern and Biblical Archaeology Laboratory in St. Paul's College. It is my pleasure to present the Diane Dowling Memorial Scholarship Professor Diane Dowling was a longtime member of the college and professor in the Department of Mathematics. This scholarship was established by her husband, Professor Roy Dowling, for college students in the Department of Mathematics who have demonstrated outstanding academic performance in their coursework. This year, the scholarship is presented to Max Gutkin. In his first year of university, Max took an introductory course in discrete mathematics and was so enthralled by what he was learning that he changed his major. Since then, he has taken as many courses as he could in combinatorics, especially graph theory. 
Over the last three summers, he has done research in mathematics and a variety of topics relating to graph theory and algebra. He intends to pursue a master's in math with a focus in graph theory once he graduates. Congratulations to Max on this achievement. My name is Daniel McLeod and I'm the director of the Jesuit Center here at St. Paul's College. It's my pleasure to present the Archbishop Leonard Wall Scholarship. The scholarship was established by the friends and family of Archbishop Wall upon his installation as Chancellor of St. Paul's College. It is awarded to students who have demonstrated outstanding performance in courses in the Catholic Studies program. And this year, the scholarship is awarded to two outstanding students. Our first recipient is Rob Johnstone. Rob is currently completing an arts degree and a minor in Catholic Studies and hopes to further his academic career at the University of Manitoba's Faculty of Law. In his spare time, Rob has worked at Elmhurst Golf and Country Club, and he enjoys fishing and a multitude of sports. If you are looking for an efficient lawyer in the coming years, you should go see Rob Johnstone. He hands in all of his assignments about two weeks before they are due. Our second recipient is Abigail Piers. Prior to her studies at the University of Manitoba, she spent two years serving the homeless as a missionary for a nonprofit organization in Denver, Colorado. She is currently completing a degree in psychology with a minor in Catholic studies. Abby is a great student who represents the very best of what our students offer the world. She is smart and kind and willing to give of herself. With their intellect, their kindness, and their good sense, both Abby and Rob will make the world a better place. Congratulations. Hi there. I'm Dr. Meredith Bacola, Assistant Professor in the Jesuit Center for Catholic Studies at St. Paul's College. Today I'm pleased to present the Elizabeth Desmond Prize in Medieval History. Established by Professor Larry Desmond, a former Dean of Studies, Professor of History, and a longtime member of St. Paul's College, the Elizabeth Desmond Prize in Medieval History is awarded to a student for academic excellence in a general medieval history course. This year, the prize is awarded to Chris Riedel. Chris is an active member of St. Paul's College Students Association, where he serves as a representative for the Jesuit Center for Catholic Studies. Chris emphasizes the Catholic Studies program as the highlight of his university education to date, due primarily to the expertise of the staff and the guidance they offer. Chris is also the recipient of the Military and Hospitaller Order of St. Lazarus of Jerusalem Ecumenical Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to a student for an outstanding essay related to one of the three topics taught in the Introduction to Catholic Studies course, Contemporary Christian Ecumenical Dialogue, the Crusades, or the Reformation of the Catholic Church. Congratulations to Chris on his achievements. Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Moti Shojanya. I'm the former Dean of St. Paul's College and as a member of the English Department of Film and Theatre, I taught courses in English Literature at the College for over 20 years. I'm happy to welcome you to Hanley Hall, where we are right now. This is the room that we always meet in, faculty, parents, students, prize winners, after our academic exercises, and I'm happy to be speaking to you uh, from this room. The paintings are by the Canadian artist Mary Valentine, who donated them uh, to the college uh, many years ago. And now it's my pleasure to announce the uh, winner of the Denny uh, Newman Strong Prize in French Literature. The prize was established by Emily Denny, who was a longtime member of the French and Spanish department at the university, and the fund was combined with that donated by Dr. Isabella Strong in honor of her grandfather, Jonathan Newman Strong, who was uh, a great proponent of uh, youth and uh, education and activities. Uh, Today's prize winner is uh, Clarissa Klenka. Clarissa is in her final year of a Bachelor of Science degree, majoring in chemistry, minoring in uh, biology. And (coughs) despite her activities, She is uh, also president of the University of Manitoba Ski and Snowboard Club. Clarissa, it is my pleasure to uh, award you the Denny Newman Strong Prize for Excellence in French Literature at the 2000 level. 
Congratulations and Felicitations. I am Rosemary Fenley, Senior Instructor for German. It is with great honor that I present the Dr. Karl Schilling Memorial Prize today. This was a prize started in memory of my father, Dr. Karl Schilling. The prize is presented to the Karl College student who has demonstrated excellence for a foreign performance in the German language course. It is my pleasure to present the award to Lauren Tisdale. Lauren is in her final year studying classics at the University of Manitoba. She is learning German in hopes of pursuing a master's degree in Germany to study ancient history. Her dream career is to work as a museum curator and to specialize in ancient Greek antiquities. And German is her fifth language. Congratulations, Lauren and continued success. I am Dr. Christine Buttrell, lecturer and former Dean of Studies at St. Paul's College. It's my pleasure to present the Timothy E. Desmond Prize in History. The prize was established by the late professor, Larry Desmond, a longtime member of the college, professor of history, and former Dean of Studies in memory of his father. The scholarship is awarded to a student annually for excellence in a general church history course. This year, the scholarship is awarded to third year history major, Lindy Bushy. In her spare time, she enjoys swimming and cross country skiing. After finishing her bachelor's degree, Lindy plans to continue to study history at the graduate level. Congratulations, Lindy. Now I would like to announce the Patrick Berg Gaffney Prize in Mathematics. The Patrick Berg Gaffney Prize in Mathematics is a scholarship that was established by St. Paul's College community in memory of Patrick Burke Caffney, a practicing engineer and strong supporter of St. Paul's College. This year, I have the pleasure of announcing our uh, recipient of this award, Matthew Band. Matthew is currently a third year engineering student where he is also pursuing a minor in math. Alongside his studies, he is an active member of the University of Manitoba Engineering Society, where he holds the position of Vice Dean Communications. Matthew is deeply fond of learning, but cites science and mathematics as his favorite because together they explain the world's intricacies and complexities. Matthew has main goals, many goals in life, including to one day my name is Elit Cavalcanti and I'm the director of Campus Ministry at St. Paul's College. I am here today to present the Campus Ministry Community Service Award. This award is presented to a student actively involved in Campus Ministry program at St. Paul's College. Campus Ministry recognizes that each student's gifts are unique. Among others, a role of Campus Ministry is to help a student develop as a whole person and to embody the nation tradition of being a person for others. A student will have exemplified leadership skills and are involved with the faith community at St. Paul's College. This year, I'm pleased to present the service award to Rebecca Koza. Rebecca was born and raised in Flin Flon and moved to Winnipeg in 2015 to attend university. She's currently in her final year of a joint honors in statistics and computer science with a minor in Catholic studies. Rebecca is also 
a great baker, a good listener, good friend, always have, happy to, hand a, to lend a hand and help with anything needed around our chapel and at the college. Congratulations, Rebecca. The selection of the Planning of the Year Award is made by the Rector in consultation with other college officers from a slate of candidates who are nominated by the students of the college. This award is given to an undergraduate or graduate student who exemplifies leadership, scholarship, and commitment to the college. Though this award is given annually, it is the recipient's total past years at the college that are considered. This year I consulted with the Dean of Studies regarding the nominations received, of which there were 10 in total. We agreed that Shane Thiessen should be this year's Plenian of the Year for 2020. He has a GPA exceeding 4.0, and with many nominations received for him, including very good comments by the nominators regarding his student leadership and student council, on student council, volunteerism and community work, he is a superb choice for the Plenian of the Year we congratulate Shane Thiessen for being Plenian of the Year. Father Cecil Ryan S.J. Award is an annual award given out at the baccalaureate ceremony each year. The award is given to a faculty member, employee, volunteer, volunteer, business, or organization that has made an outstanding contribution to life at St. Paul's College. The committee reviewed nominations received and recommended to the rector the name of Dr. Daniel McLeod, who is the director of the Jesuit Center for Catholic Studies and a very active member of the College Assembly. Here I quote from the faculty nomination letter that we received. Dr. McLeod has provided extensive service in chairing the College Assembly Academic Affairs Committee. Dr. McLeod has also provided leadership in serving as the director of the Jesuit Center for Catholic Studies, which is involved in ensuring that courses are delivered properly, that new courses are designed and approved, and that the Catholic Studies program is operating as a very high quality energized program for students. Dr. McLeod has provided leadership in terms of getting our Ignatian leadership program off the ground and in collaborating with the Jesuits of Canada. And in terms of service for others, Dr. McLeod has played an important role in helping our Syrian refugee committee welcome the new family to Winnipeg. This includes working with others in establishing a new home for the family, coordinating issues with the school system, and ensuring the family members receive the health services they require. We are fortunate to have Daniel McLeod as part of our community, as someone who both goes beyond his work-related duties." Unquote. We therefore award the Father Cecil Ryan SJ Award to Dr. Daniel McLeod. We want to thank all of you who are able to watch this celebration. I also want to say thank you to those who support the college through donations to our scholarship and bursary funds to help our students pursue their studies. And for those of you who received awards today, congratulations. I hope you might be able to pay this forward to students in decades to come. Many of the things we do here are directly related to our extended network of support, including donations to our College Foundation for these awards, for our educational programs, and the maintenance of this chapel that we're standing in here today. I want to thank the Archdiocese of Winnipeg, which strongly supports our ongoing activities, including our campus ministry. I also want to express a thank you to the University of Manitoba, which continues to support the ongoing operations of this college, the Jesuit Academic Fund Agreement, and funds to match many of your contributions to students. Also, to you and members of your family who continue to show support in many ways to the college's well-being, I want to say thank you very much. And as always at these events, I want to give a big thank you for those who helped make this broadcast successful including our Dean of Studies, Dr. Delantha Fernando, our Chair of the Board of Governors, Peter Smith, Dr. Daniel McLeod, who worked hard on the awards process, our pianist, David Troya, who you've been hearing on this broadcast today, Lisa McCausland, our Director of Community Development, Father Colin Peterson, our, our Director of Cam our, our Campus Chaplain, and Matt Samshishik, who worked hard to arrange for all of the components for this successful broadcast. And thank you, our students and their families, for being part of our college community. We are lucky to have such friends. Let us continue to seek God's peace and the shared goodness of each other. Thank you. Mm -hmm.